Welcome to Falling Skies Part 6 in Python 3. Uh, so, oops, there should be multiple... We're going to be... Part 6, we're going to be adding multiple bad guys this time. Uh, so last time we had multiple good guys, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so they're doing that. And then they jump around. And we're using the blue circles to represent the... Yeah, basically the rewards that we want to catch. Um, so what I want to do is I want to do the same thing but with the things that I don't want to catch okay so the reason I structure my my lessons this way uh, is you know as we go from like simple to more complex and what's nice now and as I've talked a lot about uh, throughout this series and my other series is once you get a set of code that works uh, if if the objects are working similarly you can just copy and make some changes uh, now, if you get into more advanced coding structures such as classes, start using objects, it becomes really, really easy to do that. Uh, but probably, you know, most of my students, at least where I teach now, uh, they're beginners and they're not quite ready for that. So that's why I stick to this kind of older style of programming. But you can get a lot done with it, and it's a lot easier to explain. So we have a section here. So if I have some good guys, then I need to create some bad guys. So again, since my naming conventions are pretty consistent, so I can just copy that code, and everywhere I have bad or good, I can change that to bad. Okay. So I'm going to change that to, say, good. I'm oh, sorry, We're going from good to bad, breaking bad, I guess. And I'm going to copy that. That should be bad guys. That should be a good guy. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these red circles. So there's some distinction between the, the, the two different styles. Okay, so I'm going to run that. And again, please, this is for my students that I teach now, and, and this is my recommendation. Do this part and test it. Don't try and just do the whole thing. Stop. You know, hit pause and test it. Make sure it's working. Okay, so we have the same thing as we had last time. Okay, we, we've looks like we've got one, but I can tell you we've got 20 there. They're just not moving because we haven't done that part of the code. And look how easy it was to add that because we have it working once. And you see here, move the good guys. Well, let's go ahead and copy that. And again, move the bad guys. And for bad guy in bad guys. Bad guy, and we need. Now, if you're good with editors, you can select that part and just do a search and replace, but uh, I'm not that good. So, bad guy, and bad guy distance, and bad guy. So, I basically just went through, I copied the code, changed good to bad, and I think that's probably going to do it. So, let's run that. Okay. So now you can see we've got good guys and bad guys all over the place. Now what I did with this program uh, is I started the, uh, where we go, up here when I created them, instead of starting them all at, what was that, 0, 250, I started the good guys at, I think it was minus 100, and the bad guys at plus 100. So just to give it a little bit of distinction, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay. So now I can go over here and get some get some easy points, and now we got a game. Um, now you know I don't know we don't have scoring or anything or sounds and stuff like that, but we will get to that sort of soon enough. Okay. So once you understand the basic concept of adding a bad or sorry adding a good guy, then changing that one good guy into multiple good guys, then you just copy the code and make them into bad guys. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. So I hope that's a that's probably the most valuable lesson here, not the actual you know how it works on the code level, but the idea of reusing code, of getting one set of code to work perfectly, copying it, and then modifying it to suit your needs. Okay, So please stay tuned for part seven where we'll learn how to do some scoring.